Uh, born and lives in Dublin. She is a founding member of the Dublin Writers' Workshop. She has published widely in magazines, including Poetry Art and Review, Comic Tribune, Fortnite Magazine, Gone, The Steeple, Trinity Workshop, Public, Standom, Irish Studies Review, UK, Interim, and Visions USA. Her work is also featured in her own RT Radio 1's The Poets Share, The Art Show, and on The Darkness Echoing. She was the administrator for the National Poetry Competition in Poetry Ireland to Friends Provident for three years. In December 1992, a collection of her work appeared in the Lapwing Pamphlet series titled Watching the Flow, and her first full collection was published by Salmon in 397, titled The Shadow Keeper. She has just completed a Master in Philosophy and Creative Writing from Trinity College Dublin and is currently working on her next collection entitled Dangerous Dresses and Teaching Creative Writing in the Irish Writer Centre. And it's a pleasure to introduce Sheen O'Brien. Just beyond the wall, 
where we drew the truth line, me on one side, the two of you on the other, gingerly sidestepping the issue of why we are all here together. I watched your familiar routines, your trip to the bathroom, your fumble for that first cigarette, all performed in someone else's space. You brought me coffee and your half of the paper. For a moment, I watched you scan my face and held the look just beyond the tips of my fingers. and a friend of mine in New York did so. And when I got there, I found she had uh, put me up in a hostel. That was fine, but it was run by nuns. And I don't know, but like every female here over a certain age, I'm sure you were all competent, educated. I had an absolute horror and terror and fear of nuns. So the idea of staying with them as an adult just reduced me to jelly, you know. Forget that I'm in New York and I think I'm famous and whatever, you know, I'm back down there. So it's called staying with the nuns. It was all so familiar and different. Outside, the noise, bells ringing, the constant jangle of Eighth Avenue woke me from sleep. When I opened my eyes, they met the brown stained door, the high polish of an old linoleum floor, dull colour of paint on the walls, Ireland, New York. Back with the nuns after 25 years, the old fear flashed, bridging the time in a second, as I found myself smiling appeasement at the sisters, tiptoeing across the floor, afraid of discovery for a crime I never quite put my finger on, I'm sure I never committed, or was the crime that just being there 